guys welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a sunset inspired look using the wet n wild rose in the air palette if you'd like to see how I got this look then keep on watching so I've done my brows and I've prepped my eyelids I've used a little bit of the wet n wild eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be doing the eyes first because there's quite a bit of fallout from that so I'm going to do the eyes first so I'm going to be going into this transition shade here it looks like baby poo and I'm just going to take that all over the eyelids and just up beyond the crease as well Just, just blending it smoothly so that there's no obvious line. We are going to blend it all out in a minute anyway. And um, this is actually a very flattering color for blue or green eyes or I think even brown eyes. Then taking a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be going into this shade, this orange shade at the top, and I'm just going to take that halfway along the lid and to the outer corner. Then, using an even smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking the red shade and I'm just going to put that on the outer third of the lid just to deepen, deepen that color up a little bit. And then taking a soft shadow brush, I'm going to be using some of the brown, the dark brown, and I'm going to be taking that on the outer corners. Just on the outer corners. And across the upper lid. Just slightly onto the upper lid. This is just going to give some depth to the look. And then taking my blending brush, I'm just going to blend, blend those outer edges out so that it all melds in together. can add a little bit more to the outer corner, a little bit more of the brown, which is which is what I'm going to do because it's not showing up too well. And then going into the inner corner, I'm going to be using this champagne shade over here in the inner corner. Just dipping my brush into that. And then taking the original brush, I'm just going to add a little bit of that transition shade back onto the lid just to enhance it slightly. And this will also help to just blend out the deeper brown color that we've taken onto the upper lid as well. 
And then using a pencil brush, I'm going to go back into this transition shade and I'm just going to line the bottom of the lid, the lower lid. And then just using the red, using that red shade, I'm going to go onto the lower third of the bottom lid. Just to deepen that up. And then with this, with the lightest shade, that cream shade, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on a pencil brush and just highlight the brow and then we can move on to mascara so I'm using my Max Factor 2000 calorie I'm just going to go in on the bottom lid with a tiny bit more of the deepest brown shade because the eyes are looking slightly washed out so I just want to give a tiny bit of definition just to the outer third of the eye. The thing with warm shadows is you need to be very careful because they can either make your eyes pop or they can make you look quite washed out. And then just to accentuate the lower lash line, I'm just going to add a touch of mascara. Moving on to foundation, today I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is in the shade Classic Beige. I'm just going to dab some of that all over the skin. And this is a really nice, surprisingly good foundation. And I'm going to apply it with a sponge. This gives it a lovely, smooth finish. And I just find a damp sponge, you don't really run the risk of the foundation being too cakey. So I'm just going to take that all over up, up into the eye area. And again, this foundation is quite buildable. You can actually add if you want, but I don't to put on too much just want this just gives a nice medium coverage moving on to bronzer I'm going to be using the wet and wild bronzer in bikini contest this is a lovely soft light bronzer taking a little bit on an angle brush I'm just going to gently blend it under the cheekbones and this look lends itself to quite a bit of bronzer so you can be quite liberal I'm going to go up to my temples and my forehead this really does give a lovely glow Under the chin and onto the neck and then you can also just take it across the nose to give your nose a glowy bronzed effect. Moving on to blush I've got the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in pearlescent pink and this has got a little bit of a sheen to it it's really nice I'm going to take that on a small blush brush. I'm just going to hit the 
tops of the cheeks and make sure that it's blended into the bronzer. I'm going to use a slightly deeper deeper red shade um, I was going to do a coral but I think that um, this lends itself to a slightly deeper red shade so I'm going to be using an essence sheer and shine it's a kind of brownie red and I'm going to line my lips with the Clarins Rosewood lip liner And then I almost forgot highlighter. I've got a beautiful Wet n Wild Color Icon Powder Highlighter. Uh, I can't remember what the name of this is, but I'll link it down below. And this is gorgeous. I'm going to take some of that on a fan brush. Just pop it into the highlighter and then I'm just going to sweep it along the tops of the cheeks. This looks a lot more glowy in the pan than it really is. It actually gives quite a subtle sheen to the skin and that is the finished look if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave your comments below and I'll see you next time ciao ciao